Hi, I'm Monica Fernandez with Evolution Essentials. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own hand sanitizer with essential oils. Stick around until the end because I'm going to have a free gift for you as well. Now, the caveat of today's video though is that I'm not going to just show you one recipe. I'm going to show you different versions of the same recipe so you have a choice in terms of the ingredients that you have on hand. And also, the recipe that I'm going to show you today is non-toxic. So it's as non-toxic as possible with this being as effective as possible, if that makes sense. Making your own non-toxic sanitizer is going to save you a lot of money because number one, you don't have to go anywhere. Your, your ingredients can just came, come straight to your home. You don't have to go anywhere, especially during a pandemic. If we're if you're watching this and we're still uh, during a pandemic. So it's very convenient. You can control your ingredients. I'm a big believer in controlling your ingredients. I like to use as many organic ingredients as possible in anything that I do, whether it's cooking, making recipes of any kind, whether it's things that I'm gonna put on my skin or in, you know that I'm gonna eat or use or, or clean with even. I just am a big believer in using as pure of an ingredient as possible because it's what I'm breathing, it's what I'm uh, touching, is it's everything. So we are responsible, we are in control of our own environment, especially in our own spaces. Of course, making your own hand sanitizer, you're going to be taking that portably. It's gonna be portable. You're gonna have it in your purse or your bag or whatever. And what I do advise you to do is not leave it in your car. And the reason for this is the one that I'm going to show you contains alcohol and alcohol, as you know, is flammable. So if your car gets really hot, it's hazardous and dangerous for you to leave it in your car. So I suggest you take it with you. Another thing that I'm going to tell you as a warning is don't wear it at the beach. Don't wear it to the beach where it's sunny or anything like that. It's very easy. It's really, it's really four ingredients, okay? It's super easy. I'm going to show you uh, just bit by bit and step by step with some, some alternative ways to do it. And probably obviously one of the most important things that it's is in here is alcohol so you want to choose i you know this is an advice of a nurse that i talked to you want to use something that's over uh, you know uh, over 64 percent i think it's uh the the one that um you can get off that's non-toxic that i sometimes buy if i don't have the time to make it um is this one right here but when I don't have time to make it, this one is made is exactly made with 64% uh, alcohol. So I recommend that you get your hands on 70% alcohol or above. That means 70% or 90%. Obviously, the more alcohol in it, the more antiseptic and more cleansing it is. The caveat is that it's more drying. So you have to add ingredients to make it less drying for your hands. You don't want your hands to be all dried up. It's just yucky. <laughs> anyway, uh, so listen, if you're enjoying this video, I highly recommend that you stick with me every week. And for that, subscribe right here in the red button. So easy, click, but you're not done yet. Make sure that you go and uh, subscribe and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. It should be like a little gray bell that you um, hit as well. If you don't do that, you don't know when I have a new video coming up and I really want you to keep in touch and be in touch with me. So, all right, so getting back into the sanitizing. Why is it so important to sanitize? Obviously germs, you guys, germs, bacteria, everything, viruses. You want to be, uh, if you don't have access to uh, water and soap that you can hand, use, you know, wash your hands, um, you don't have access to a sink, you know, the alternative is a, is a sanitizer. So what I'm gonna show you is a sanitizing spray. I'm a, a, also a big believer in reusing things. So I do recommend that you use um, a glass container for this. 
And the reason for this is that the ingredients will not eat through plastic. Now, plastic is bad, okay? It's, it's bad for the environment. It's bad for you. It's just bad all in all. So because my sanitizer is going to include essential oils and essential oils eat through enemies of nature, which are petrochemicals, and that's plastic, you don't want to use plastic for this. You want to use glass bottles. In the subscription, I'm going to have some links for you in the glass bottles that I use. They all come in colors. I use amber colors, blue colors, green colors, and whatever mood I am, I use different colors. I like using different colors for different things. So um, here we go. I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So this is a green bottle, really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see here, if you can see the color um, because of the, the lighting is just sucky. But anyway, it's green. It's pretty green. And then I have an amber bottle here that I put a, um, a sticker already on it. So you can, you can be fancy and put a sticker on it. Um, but this is an amber bottle. I don't have a blue bottle with me, but you, can, you, you get what I mean. The darker the bottle, the more protected the ingredients are because they're protected from light and they're protected from the sun. So you don't want to be keeping this in the sun, especially with essential oils, because some of the essential oils um, that are in here are citruses, and citruses are photosensitive, and you don't want to have uh, essential oils in the sun, period. So, like I said, we're going to be adding the alcohol. So I'm going, for this recipe, I'm going to use a um, isopropyl alcohol. It's 99.8% pure. And um, I got this at an eyeglass supply place. I'm going to link up, um, you know, things for you so that you can get this easily. And uh, so this is like the, the strongest, most potent alcohol. Well, then I'm going to use, uh, you know, either one of these two. It's going to be um, an organic aloe vera gel okay and this is because aloe vera is super soothing for the skin and because alcohol dries up so much uh, the um the recipe you know you want to make sure that you have something to counteract um and that's most moisturizing and aloe vera is very soothing and moisturizing so you want to make sure that you add that type of ingredient um, so that it's, it's, you know, much better. So if you don't want, if you don't like aloe vera and uh, you can use fractionated coconut oil. Okay. This right here. And this is awesome. This is my favorite carrier oil, you guys, because this is non-greasy. It's highly moisturizing and it's just, amazing it doesn't smell like coconut so don't freak out and think this smells like coconut oil like the white stuff it's liquid and it's i'm gonna show you here it's just awesome you just it's like clear i don't know if you can see it my hands are not really dry right now but you know it when you do this it actually gets a little shiny but you'll see in a minute it totally absorbs it absorbs completely and this is awesome to be in your sanitizer. See, it's like totally dry already. Um, dry as in it's absorbed and it's not greasy. And, but it's, it's moisturizing. So this is a really great alternative to aloe vera uh, to kind of combat the alcohol, the drying effect of the alcohol. You want the alcohol to be there because of its, you know, antiseptic qualities but you want to counteract that with the moisturizing qualities of the aloe vera gel or the fractionated coconut oil. Now, the reason I picked an organic aloe vera gel is that don't use the stuff that you get at the grocery store and the, the, the big department stores that's like, you know, that fake fluorescent green, that stuff you know, th that's added dyes and all of that stuff. That's added things. It has like fragrance and fragrance has all kinds of different 
uh, chemicals that you, you really don't want in your skin. It's, it's, it's toxic stuff, you guys. Here we're trying to make something that's as non-toxic as possible. And for that to happen, you want to choose the best ingredients. I'm such a big, big believer in that, I'm telling you. And the reason that I also use this brand of essential oils is for that reason. If you don't know enough about essential oils, you definitely should. Watch my video on what are the top 10 benefits of essential oils. The blend that I'm going to use is called the protective blend. And it's this one right here. And I'm going to tell you what this has and why I'm using it. Okay. So, so um, the company already makes a sanitizing mist that I love. And I use this all the time when I run out. This is what I do, you guys. This is a hack. I make the sanitizer that I'm going to give you in this bottle to reuse it. Or I just reuse my glass bottles that I have from for uh, the ones that I'm, I make my own. So this already has um, um, this already has those ingredients. You know, this has um, the uh, it has alcohol and it has on guard. So this has great ingredients. This has the the that um, protective blend. It has the alcohol, the sixty four percent. And then it has apple fruit extract and glycerin. Glycerin is another ingredient that I don't have here, but you, got, you could use also that has that non-drying effect. So you have that option. You have the option of, of doing a, a glycerin, uh, the aloe vera gel, or the fractionated coconut oil. I use the aloe vera uh, option or the fractionated coconut oil um, just because that's what I have on hand. I, I probably have glycerin too, but uh, I use glycerin for, for, for other things. Anyway, so let's recap for a second. You're going to need the alcohol, okay, that I told you, 70% or above. You're going to need one of these two, the organic aloe vera gel or the fractionated coconut oil, one of the two, to make sure that it, you hydrate that. You're going to need the On Guard Protective Blend. You're going to need distilled purified water. That just means that it's been, um, you know, it's been boiled before. You, you want to make sure that it's been filtered. Um, it doesn't have to be, it can be tap water. Just make sure it's been filtered or, you know, boiled. And obviously you need the spray bottle, the glass spray bottle. I recommend 15 milliliter spray bottle or reuse your uh, protective blend, 15 milliliter bottle, just get the spray, the nozzle spray. And what else? That's it. So those are the things that you need. So the reason that I, cho I chose this, um, and I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description on 25% off of the essential oils, of these essential oils that I use. And I highly recommend that you get, this is like one of the foundational basic um, medicine cabinet foundational uh, blends that you must have at home. It's for the whole family. And there's a ton of things that you can do with this, but this protective blend, I'm going to tell you what's in it. So, so it's totally transparent for you. This protective blend has a bunch of oils that are super cleansing and you want to make sure that you use this when you don't have access to a bathroom and a sink that you can just wash your hands with, with soap. And you want to make sure that you don't use those horrible, 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 did I say horrible? Those horrendous sanitizers those stores give you. They're full of chemicals. They're highly toxic. Your skin is going to absorb that stuff and it's really bad for you. You want to make sure that the stuff that you're putting on your skin is non-toxic. It's not going to harm you or your family. And if you have kids, it's definitely not going to harm you. So stay away from all those weird things, those very generic things that you see everywhere. And you know that you've read articles on those brands that have had all problems because they've poisoned people. So here's why this protective blend 
of essential oils is so important. It has, ready for this? Wild orange, clove bud, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus leaf, and rosemary leaf and flower essential oils. The combination of these makes it a warm, spicy, and woody synergy and, and aroma. But the best thing, it's a powerful cleanser. And you want to make sure that you add this. And the reason I'm going to mention this, I want to talk about each of these oils individually so you know why they're in there. It's not just because they smell good, okay? It's because of their chemistry. Wild orange is a powerful cleanser and purifying agent. And it creates it in a uplifting environment and obviously smells amazing. Clove is one of the most powerful antioxidants on this planet. It has antiviral, anti-infectious, antiseptic, disinfectant qualities, and it's an immune stimulant. That means it aids in protecting your immune system. The cinnamon leaf and cinnamon bark, so it's, it's the essential oil extracted from those two points of the plant, have antibacterial qualities, including airborne bacteria. It's, they also have antiseptic, antimicrobial, anti-infectious, and they're also antioxidant. Eucalyptus and rosemary. Eucalyptus is super cleansing, antibacterial as well, anti-infectious, antiviral, smells amazing, of course, as, as rosemary does, and it's also antibacterial, anti-infectious, and antioxidant. You see all these overlapping qualities. It's not by chance you know, essential oils are the chemicals of nature. They're natural. And so they're a lot, most of them are antiviral and antibacterial. And they have all these amazing qualities that can really add to your sanitizer and really protect you. So this is why this is so important that you add this amazing blend in it. Check out this video right here on how to protect yourself from COVID-19 when going to the doctor. I know it's a stressful situation, so watch next. I'm gonna show you the recipe, okay? I'm gonna show you the recipe next, and I'm going to leave in the description the exact amount so you don't have to write anything down. You can just you know, copy and paste. When you're done uh, watching this video, you can just copy and paste uh, in a document or something like that. So everything that I'm gonna give you is for a 15 milliliter bottle. That means, you know, these little glass bottles, 15 milliliters, my reusable uh, protective blend are also 15 milliliters. Really, really simple. Again, fractionated coconut oil or aloe vera gel, uh, organic aloe vera gel, uh, alcohol that's 70% or higher, uh, purified water, the protective blend, and that's it. So that's all you need. And I'm going to tell you, the amounts. So, okay, I have all my ingredients right now. Um, I'm having them lying down so you can see everything, but I'm going to um, stand them up so you can see how I'm going to do this, okay? So I have my bottle here have my recipe. I'm going to open this. So I'm going to add first the essential oils. That's okay if you get a couple of extra drops there, no problem. Then the alcohol that I already pre-measured here. Now don't worry if it's too much. It's one tablespoon I put in here. It's almost going to fill it. And then you add about half a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Okay. I use a metal funnel. Really simple. And it should be full. 
You don't really need much more. If you want to top it off, you can top it off with more alcohol or purified water, like I told you. You just screw the top, give it a really good shake every single time you use it, and you can see the, the oils mixing in there. And then, to use, really simple, you know how to use it. You spray your hands, or you spray your cart, you spray the handle of a door, or anything like that and there you have it your hand sanitizer and it's not too drying it smells like alcohol and on guard pretty much that's what it does you know what I would love for you to do is give my video a like this helps my channel tremendously I know this is a little bit of a, a joke and how I titled this video but watch this video next on why essential oils are so bad for you in 2020 and what to research instead. It kind of has a little bit to do with some of the things I said in this video. So watch that next. So my free gift for you in the description, go pick that up right now. It's a free download of my favorite 25 stress reducing diffuser blends with essential oils. I love, love, love these 25 ones and I wanna give them to you free. So go ahead, do it right now. Click it. I hope you got major value from this video. Comment below with which version of this hand sanitizer you made. Did you make it with fractionated coconut oil or with aloe vera gel? I want to know. And if you made it with both, which one did you like the best? Comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time.